Welcome everybody, I'm Hugh, you're you, and we're going to talk about my first six records. Kill them. So, welcome everybody. It's been like four years since I made my last video or something. I never stopped following the, the vinyl community to be honest. Uh, just keep watching the videos and like Brandon, Mr. Hall of Fame, and I know Mike, uh, uh, Scott Waters, JL, everybody, uh, even Derek. Not really my kind of music, but I was hoping for the one album that I really like. But uh, I thought, like, what, what, the, what the heck, let's make a, a video for myself. I'm not an English native speaker, so if I fuck up with a word or something, don't shoot me. But. Uh, the funny thing is, uh, I would like to show you my very first records. Um, I got my first record player in 1981. Uh, I still got the picture from it the day that I got it. And I also got pictures from my very first record that I ever played. Um, the funny thing is, that record is still in my possession. I still have that record. It's, it's, the, the, the picture that I'm showing you guys is the actual record that was my very first record. Um, and I still have it. Um, this was my very first record. It was a, a, a compilation from Vital Vinyl Volume 2. Um, you can get it a lot on eBay for two bucks or something, but it doesn't matter. This is my original copy from 1981. Um, this record also inspired me because there were two names on there. Like, the one name was Rory Gallagher, and the other one was UFO. And UFO with Dr. Doctor, which was on there, was like the inspiration for me that I, I was, wow, this is awesome music, you know? This is something I really, really enjoy listening to. Um, and the funny thing is that this album was the beginning of collecting records for me, which was really a surprise because, I don't know, I was always into music, but when I first got my first record player, I was like, Wow, man, this is really something I would really like. So, there you have it. This is my very first record ever owned by me. Um, I mean, 33, uh, one play record, like 33 RPMs. Um, with UFO on there. With that record done, um, I con constantly played it, of course, and uh, my mom and dad got really crazy with hearing the same music over and over again. So they finally um, saw that this was something I really enjoyed. So they bought me a second record like a couple of weeks later, um, which is also a compilation because we live next near, near the border of Germany. And um, they knew that I like pop music and especially hot rock, that was something that was really obvious. Um, so they got me this. I've never seen this record anywhere else. I've looked on YouTube, eBay, Google. I've, it's, a, it's, it's nowhere to be found. Um, basically, the music that's on here is like Boney M and stuff, which was when I was six years old, it was okay, you know. But there was one song on here, which was from the Scorpions, which was Love Drive. And... I looked at the picture in the back and there was that guy with the long hair and like for 20 years I thought it was Michael Schenker himself but it would turn out it was his brother Rudo. I've never known that he had a brother uh, for like five or six years. Um, but this was my second album and also with the Schenker guys on there with the Scorpions. And although the rest of the music is kind of crappy uh, I only played like two songs in him. One was Uriah Heep, Lady in Black, which was also an awesome number. And the other one was, of course, uh, The Scorpions with Love Drive. And now I look at it, I see also Gary Newman with Cars, which was covered by Fear Factory later on. Um, which I think was one of the cooler covers of that song. Um, it stayed near the original, but, you know, covers are always, you like him or you hate him. But this was my second record, which was, this is also still in my possession, and it actually plays very good, because I really, I think I've played this record, these two records like hundreds of times. Um, so record number two. 
And with that said, um, when I was six or seven years old, um, we had to go to swim class. And when you get your graduation from your swim diploma, um, my dad said to me, well, you can get a record for your birthday. So we went to the nearest big city, um, and I told the guy at the record store, because we got really got record stores back then, you know. Um, I got my swimming diploma, I want a record. So he guided me through the kids section and uh, I was really not interested in that. So I actually knew what record I wanted to have because I was a couple of weeks early, I was there with my dad and he bought the latest rainbow, which is awesome. Um, but I knew exactly what I wanted because I saw that record a couple of weeks earlier really shining in there. And uh, my dad was like, <laughs> that is funny, you know. Um, and that was this record. Um, this is one of the best live albums. This was one of my. This was my first live album, but this is one of the best live albums I've ever heard in my entire life, till date. I mean, Ozzy with Randy Rhodes comes in a good second place as well as the Thin Lizzy one or the Rainbow on stage. Um, but this, this is actually the record. I love the most. I have three copies. Um, one is framed, and the other two are just one is for backup, one is for playing. My original one is framed because I totally killed that one. It's completely grey. I mean, it's you can you saw my record player on the on, on the photo. It's like a Philips 200 with a diamond needle. I mean, after 50 turns, that that killed the record. I mean, after 50 plays, that was totally gone. And this is the record uh, that is the most dearest to me. This is where my love for you, for Michael Schenker Group, everything really started. Even Contraband, I love that one, um, has, all, uh, has, has started. Um, so this was my very third, this was my very first live album, my third record in total. And this was within a couple of months, actually. So, and my dad, he, at night, he took a copy of it on tape because you also really like that record, so that was kind of funny. Um, UFO, Stranger Than Night, awesome record. You probably hear it in the background. Um, if you don't know it, get it, listen it. If you like hard rock from the early, early, 70, uh, early 80s, late 70s, get this. Back to number four, what I got was because of that second compilation LP, um, my Dad said he had he had two albums. One he got from my aunt in Canada, uh, and he had that one double. Um, but the, Euro the European pressing was a little bit better because uh, sound-wise on a stereo. So he got me the Canadian one, which um, I totally love for the cover. The to be honest, that the, the the European one had a tank on the cover, but this one really killed it. This is get the glare out of there. Oh, sorry. This is Uriah Heep Salisbury. Um, for me, this is also the best Uriah Heep album there is. I mean, fantasy and everything. Read on the fantasy is okay. Uh, Look at yourself is also okay. But I have really special memories about this one. Um, High Priest, The Park. I mean, come on, The Park. If you don't love that song on this album, it's something really... You know, not gonna say it, but... This is one spectacular album, still played to date, um, not really this copy because I also have the European version, which is not completely grey, because this is also, you know, played on my 200 record player and, you know, it killed the vinyl. Uh, I still keep it because the cover is still great, but the vinyl is totally shot. Um, but again, my fifth record, uh, fourth record, sorry, fourth record, and God, I love this one. Um, look at that cover, isn't that awesome drawing or what? I mean, it scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. When I first saw this one and my dad gave it to me, it was like, God, you know. Um, great record. Still, to anyone who doesn't know it, get it. Listen to it. It's some of the best music from this band uh, that I think. Um, and also has uh, Lady in Black and it, was, which was probably a hit, I think. I've seen some clips on YouTube probably. Um, great record. Ken Hensley song on that one. Then, I really wanted that record. I, I saved especially for this one. Um, well, you probably guessed it because 
Like I said, I was a Michael Schenker fan. So I got this one. Um, this is also my original copy. You can see the sticker on there with, oh, I'm sorry, with my name on there, right at the top. Uh, I stickered my albums. Good God, I'm gonna have to do that again. But um, like, like I said, into the arena. To anyone who doesn't know Michael Schenker, he's uh, he was a guitar player first for the Scorpions. Um, he did Lonesome Crow. Um, that one that stuck to me. The other one, I'm not really sure which one that was. He did two albums, probably the Scorpions. Then he went to UFO. Um, which he did a bunch of records with, like Phenomenon, Lights Out, Strangers in the Night, um, etc. Um, and then he went solo, and then he did this. And this was also, I thought it was 81, or 82, I'm not really sure. Um, 80, 1980, this was 1980. And, uh, God, I, I, I really loved everything that had Michael Schenker on it, but... You know, albums were really expensive in 1982, 1981. So I really had to save up for getting a record. So I was really careful with this one. Um, and this one is still playable. This one still actually sounds good. Um, not sure why, because I probably was a little bit careful with the records because I had some, you know, some, some uh, more, I took more care of them. Um, but this was my fifth record, the Michael Schenker record. and. For me, there was nothing else anymore. Uh, okay, I listened to Michael Jackson and everything. That was that was okay, but not something I would really own on a record. And not later after that, um, I got some money from uh, from my birthday and everything else. And uh, you guessed it, the second one. Couldn't I mean couldn't miss it. Um, this one is not really. Uh, it was also a really good record, but it's not really the one I liked the most. The one is really, Mike Schenker 1 is the one that I liked the most. But this one's also really good. I have four copies of this one. Why? Um, there are four editions of this one. Um, one came with a huge book. Um, that one. Um, some people say it's a tour book with all the pictures in it and everything. But this was actually sealed when I got it. So I'm not really sure how that happened, but um, it's also, I have one copy that has one song that's on both sides. So not really sure how that happened. I'm never gonna get rid of that one. It was lucky because I looked, I always look at the vinyl, you know, how, how it's lined out, the actual vinyl. And I thought it was something different because I know this one by heart, like the other ones, I know this one by heart. And that one had a weird layout. The, 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 the label was also stuck on there, pretty weird. Um, so I just went for one dollar, I just, for one euro actually, I, I got it. I didn't get it like two years ago. And I played it and I was like, this sounds weird, you know, didn't I just heard that song? And it was actually on the first side. The first song on the first side was also the first song on the second side. So that's kind of funny, you know? So my first six records. Kind of know what kind of genre I'm into. Um, maybe I'll make some more videos. Who knows if this catches on. I like it. Uh, I want to say thanks to the guys from Third Machine who made the backgrounds music as well. Who knows? Thanks. And uh, maybe I'll catch you guys later. See ya.